Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our VCM scanner software. So the VCM scanner is gonna allow us to capture data when our engine is running from our PCM. So it's gonna give us all the important information that we're gonna to need to know in order to either diagnose a problem or to make a change in our tune accurately. We need to know what information is, such as our engine speed, our mass airflow, or any kind of fuel-related components, if we're doing, let's say, our fuel tuning in our VCM editor side of things. So you're gonna be working with your VCM scanner pretty heavily, and you're gonna be also moving back into the VCM editor, making your editing changes, and then flashing. So you're gonna find that the VCM scanner is gonna be part of your workflow in your tuning process. I'm gonna be going over the general view of the VCM scanner, as well as some details of how to work with the software, and then we're going to be taking further looks at the software later on in the training course as we're looking at specific tasks of tuning such as idle control or automatic trans control. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at our VCM scanner software. Now this is going to allow us to go in and do data analysis or capture data when we're working with our vehicle. So whether we're going to be using it for tuning or to be using it for diagnostic purposes, this is going to be something that you're always going to want to utilize in your evaluation of a vehicle. This is going to be the same idea as an OBD2 scanner. So if we're familiar with an OBD2 scanner, you plug it into your OBD2 port, you'll be able to go in and connect to the vehicle. You can see live data typically, you can check your codes, you can check your readiness monitors, you can reset codes. You'll find that it is a diagnostic tool. And that's what this scanner is going to allow you to do, except it's going to be kicking it up a notch we're gonna be able to do our capture of our data. We're gonna be able to play it back and evaluate it in graphical format or in overlay format. There's gonna be all kinds of things we can do with the software that we simply can't do with a scanner. Now, high-end scanners like a Snap-on can definitely go in and have probably some more features and functions over top of what we find here in the VCM scanner, but this VCM scanner software is gonna be suited for tuners doing tuning. Um, it's going to be speeding up that process. We cannot do any tuning without using the VCM scanner. So this is just as important and probably not more important to be able to understand and, and work with than working with the VCM editor side of things. Um, if we don't have data, we can't move into a table in our VCM editor and make those editing changes accurately. It's just not going to be possible. We'll be tuning blind essentially at that point if we're trying to guess at what we should change our fuel to or maybe what kind of RPM the engine went to during a, a, a wide open throttle pull. Um, we, we really simply can't figure out any of the information without capturing the data and playing it back. So that's going to be the purpose of the software. So let's check out some icons and some things at the top of the screen here and we'll walk across and uh, evaluate this and then we'll move into our main layout here. We have a channels list, a graph, and a chart versus time. I'll walk you through what to expect with these and uh, how to work with them and uh, do some configuration in the screen here um, just so we can understand what we're going to be getting into um, in this training course. We're going to be moving into the VCM scanner here pretty heavily, creating custom layouts and pages for very specific tasks. Um, there's going to be a lot we need to cover in here because the GM Gen 4 has a ton of channels in the ECU that you can data log out. And there's gonna be certain ones that we probably don't need and other ones are gonna be vitally important to doing a task such as doing our idle tuning or doing our automatic transmission tuning. So again, we'll be covering that when we step into the individual videos. This is just going to be the overview so we can get comfortable with everything in here. So let's jump here into the top. We're gonna to go to our first section. We can see log file. We can find our log file. We can go to open here or we